there. So you need to be very, very careful when using it. All right. Now, this is my first time using it, as I've said. So I will be just using a little bit. All right. And um, yeah, now <laughs> you have to be very careful. Now, I, I was actually pricked. You see? what i'm talking about oh <laughs> i was pricked with those things I, yeah it's not a joke see it actually happened it pricked me all right guys so let's talk about the cactus benefits for hair growth now cactus is high in fatty acids which are great for hair growth and development now vitamin e works as an antioxidant that fights free radicals the oil also contains amino acids which stimulate collagen production now i've heard that so many women in jamaica actually use this cactus they call it tuna in uh, jamaica and they say when they use this their hair grow amazingly long because of its benefits all right so i'm just going to use this guys and cha <laughs> i was kind of you know shocked with the benefits that it has now cactus it's high in fatty acids content uh, it also encourages hair growth as well and maintains healthy hair now also guys cactus is a source of vitamins um the vitamins found in cactus is vitamin c vitamin e vitamin a they also contain iron calcium potassium omega-3 um yeah so this is packed with you know essential vitamins that is needed to grow healthy hair now i was using this one but i actually found out that yeah, it was not the right glass jar to use so i ended up using another glass jar as you can see it's very slimy guys um i really like this one guys i think this is better than aloe vera honestly because with my aloe vera gel it doesn't have that much gel the aloe veras that i have so this one is actually good because it gives you more gel okay I really love this cacatas for hair growth. So I'm just going to strain it. I'm just going to do exactly what you see me doing here. And then I'm going to put my essential oils in because it's very important. Essential oils are important for hair growth. As you can see, it's very slimy, guys. Very moisturizing to the hair as well. As you all know that peppermint essential oil, it's very, very needed for your hair because it actually stimulates hair growth on the scalp. So I'm going to be using a few drops of peppermint essential oil because it helps to grow the hair as well as eucalyptus essential oil as well. It also stimulates blood on the scalp as well as rose essential oil. It also does the same and lavender as well it also grows the hair faster so i'm going to be using these essential oils guys because essential oils are very very good to grow the hair faster i've also done a video on all the essential oils that you need to use i'll leave the video in the description box below please go and check that video out so i'm going to put my cactus gel in this um bottle because i'm going to be using it on my daughter's hair guys um as a pre pool um yeah so that's what i will be doing today Ako, cha. <laughs> i'm loving this kakatas now this is the first time actually using it i've had the leaves for a while but i was just waiting for the right time to do this video guys but honestly i really love how jelly it is Ako, Ako. and ciao it has so many um essential benefits for the hair now as you can see my daughter says very dry guys very thirsty now i'm going to be applying the cactus gel on her hair now guys i want you to see how moisturizing um it is guys to the hair i was actually shocked i was like this is cactus. <laughs> I can't believe this cactus for hair growth it does these wonders. <laughs> I was actually shocked because it's, it, it was my first time of using this on my daughter's hair. I was kind of like, oh, child, please. As you can see, the gel is very jelly. You understand? It's very jelly. Oh, <laughs> child, the hair was completely original. Eh? completely soft and the curls were popping like crazy child i love this cactus you understand i love it oh <laughs> child i'll just show you guys you'll see it for yourself how curly it was 
Look at look at that. Look at those curls popping like that. Just look at it. Just applying cactus and those essential oil. <laughs> Cha, if you have any cactus, eh, wherever you are standing or nearby, Cha, please get yours and make your own jelly. Make your own cactus jelly, child. Oh, your hair will grow like crazy. I've heard so many people talking about the good things they have experienced, uh, you know, when using cactus on their hair. They have said, my hair has grown so long using this cactus. Now, child, <laughs> this is my first time of using it, but child, look at those curls. Just to look at it. <laughs> you understand? I said, just look at those curls. Aka, <laughs> you see it for yourself. How moisturizing it is. All right, guys. So, yes, um, if you want me to do the cactus water for hair growth, just let me know, guys, because I can do that video for you. Just showing you how uh, to make the cactus water, but not the gel. Um, yeah, I will make that video if you want me to just comment below and say, cactus water so that i know that you want me to do that video but seriously guys <laughs> child mm, i think this cactus eh, it's better for hair growth than aloe vera because child you get so much jelly because you're actually adding water and it still has that gooey consistency it still has that jelly consistency compared with aloe vera if you just put a little bit if you put water, it becomes water. You understand? It's not a jelly anymore. <laughs> Ciao, you understand? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have enjoyed this one. I, I know that you, you always enjoy my videos. Ciao, please. You always do. Okay, so give it a thumbs up and start using this kakatas because your hair is going to grow like crazy. As you can see, those curls, guys, look at those curls. They are propping. The pudding is in the pudding. What is that saying again? The mixture is in the pudding. I don't know. Thank you for watching. God willing, I'll see you in my next one. Hey lovelies, in today's video I'm going to show you overnight cactus water. The last time I did my cactus water, I did not leave it for overnight. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I make my cactus water, guys, for hair growth. So keep on watching. Before we get right into today's video, please give my video a big thumbs up, comment below, because this will push my videos to more viewers, guys. YouTube will, um, you know, <laughs> ciao. YouTube, Ako, I said YouTube, <laughs> will push my videos to more viewers, you understand? So please, eh, just like the video, comment below, because I need to know what you think about this cactus. Ako, all right, guys, so the last video I did, I did cactus water, but I did not leave it to, I did not leave it to soak overnight. So this video will actually be showing you what cactus water look like when it is left overnight to soak in water. Now, I was having a lot of questions, guys, that most of you were asking, can I use the cactus gel and leave it in the hair or can I use it as a leave-in spray? The cactus gel, you can't leave it in the hair because it makes the hair very dry. If you leave the cactus gel in the hair, you have to wash it off. Now, but if you are using the cactus water, it's very moisturizing to the hair. So I would recommend you to use the cactus water to actually spray on your scalp and your hair every single day. So this one, you can use it as a leave-in spray, guys. I hope I have answered your questions. Um, yeah, so you can use the cactus water as a leave-in spray, but the cactus gel, you have to wash it off the hair. All right. Now, let me just tell you the benefits of using this cactus water. It leaves the hair moisturized. It grows the hair. Well, let me just say it, it has grown in my hair. So, guys, um, well, comparing the cactus water with the cactus gel, the cactus gel, for me, it leaves some particles in my hair. I don't know why. But with the cactus water, you're just using the cactus water and it's like a gel the consistency is like a gel if you leave it to sit overnight so this is actually a better way of using the cactus because you're using the water and the water looks like a gel you understand you understand what i mean <laughs> so i'm gonna close the <laughs> chapel ears you already know me Aka. so i'm going to close the water and leave it now i've put in hot water in this cactus 
now as you can see now this is the next morning guys now i'm just gonna show you how gel the water is you understand <laughs> look at how gel it is now we can even say cactus gel for hair growth gel please or cactus water whichever one you want to call it you understand so you can use this as a live-in spray every single day spray it on your hair and your scalp or you can use it as a rinse just rinse your hair with the water but here this one you can use it as a living spray but the gel gel huh? use it once okay, and wash it off let me just give you a quick benefit of cactus water for hair growth cactus is high in fatty acids which are great for hair growth now vitamin e works as an antioxidant that fights free radicals and it also contains amino acid and which stimulate collagen production this cactus water or the cactus gel actually helps to thicken up the hair sorry guys for the noise in the backyard okay, sorry ciao. now thank you so much if you have watched till the end ciao Thank you, Akko. I'll see you in my next one, God willing. Hello, lovelies. As you can see, um, my daughter's hair has really grown, guys, because of cactus. I've been using cactus for a while on her hair, and her hair is getting fuller. This was before and after, and I'm going to show you how to actually mix cactus and aloe vera together, and I'm also going to show you how I apply it on my daughter's hair. So, guys, if this is something you might be interested in, please keep on watching because, ciao, <laughs> we're going to have some fun. Okay my channel before we get right into it please give this video a big thumbs up and comment below and share the video because this will help my channel a lot guys now let's get started i'm going to mix cactus and aloe vera because when mixing this guys it's going to give an hi an amount of jelliness eh, that we've never experienced before actually someone asked me and said can i mix aloe vera and cactus so i actually thought of doing this video because i've never done a video of mixing cactus and aloe vera so let's get right into mixing deals oh cool now guys <laughs> as i've been using cactus guys i've actually found out that cactus it really thickens the hair because when i was using it on my daughter's hair my daughter's hair she has um finer strands okay her hair is not like that thick like 4c it's very fine but when i started using cactus her hair is very very thick now so i can surely tell you that cactus can literally thicken up the hair like crazy all right now aloe vera has got something called potrolytic enzyme so aloe vera has got healing properties as well this potrolytic enzyme is known to repair dead skin cells so if you have any dormant follicles or if you have any bold spots or patches on your scalp um this aloe vera actually helps to repair those dead skin cells um with helping to bring back the hair from the bald spot so i'm going to add in water all right water to my cactus and aloe vera um and i'm going to blend it guys and it doesn't matter how much water you put in because the cactus is going to give you a lot of gel Aka. Ooh. all right guys so let's strain this baby mm -hmm. all right guys so i'm going to put this cactus and aloe vera gel in it and you're going to see the gel eh? that is going to come out of this hey ja, i just love the gel like Aka. now this is the best way to pre-pull your natural hair now as you have seen uh at first when i put the video of my daughter's hair it was very dry it was dry like a dry leaf but cha gonna see her hair when i start putting this a uh, cactus gel -like and aloe vera gel oh <laughs> you're gonna see okay. it's gonna be so food okay. all right guys so i'm going to add in castor oil castor oil actually helps to thicken up the hair which i really want on my daughter's hair and my hair as well so i'm going to mix that castor oil in the cactus and aloe vera gel all right and i'm also going to put this in the applicator bottle because when we're applying this we don't want any kind of mias <laughs> all right let's put it in the applicator bottle and then here we go we have our cactus and aloe vera gel now this is my daughter's as you can see it's dry like a dry bone okay 
<laughs> draw like draw leaf or draw bone whichever you want to call it so guys so this is my daughter's as you can see it's getting fuller it's getting thicker and i'm very happy with it i think i have to do more treatments on her hair because child lately i've been very very lazy you understand <laughs> lazy like a tortoise <laughs> Oh, all right, guys. So I'm going to show you exactly how I apply cactus on a toddler's hair. Okay, because you might have questions. How do I apply this? And how do I actually apply this? Okay, I'm here for you. Okay, don't do worry. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get right into applying the cactus gel and the aloe vera gel. Mm -hmm. As you can see, guys, look at her hair. It's so full. You can't hardly see the scalp, which means that this cactus say it's working. Aka! <laughs> Ciao. If you can't really see the scalp, hey. Ciao. It means that it's working. Aka! <laughs> We're going to continue using this cacatrias. Now, <laughs> if you can ask me, can I use. Ca uh -huh. She's touching her own hair. Mm -hmm. She's feeling herself. <laughs> Aka! Now she can feel it that mm, something is happening happening to my hair it's a it's a kind of growing out so, so okay guys you know I me mean, i like laughing all right guys so i'm going to be applying the cactus and aloe vera gel on my daughter's hair and you're gonna see exactly how i do it now if you are applying on the hair and your daughter has got a lot of hair i would recommend that you put that your daughter's hair in sections because you don't want to work like this now i actually took a comb and i parted the hair because i didn't want to do the section over and over again so you have to work in sections to make it much easier guys all right so i'm gonna apply the cactus on the hair and also make sure that you are applying this on the scalp because the scalp needs it more guys and also the hair every part of your hair your scalp everything it needs it so i'm gonna really really massage it on the scalp and also apply this on the hair because it's very important to cut all the hair strands and the edges too because we don't want borrowed edges on toddlers <laughs> oh my god we're gonna see exactly how i am applying this um and massaging it in guys and also working it in in the hair because this is very very important child please look at my daughter's hair come on away oh it's a fool her hair is full you understand oh i go i'm loving this cactus guys honestly i really don't know what to really say to you but child, what i can say is that this thing works like crazy Aka. <laughs> oh, all right so i'm gonna take a um, white tooth comb and just uh comb her hair as you can see it was very dry now it's very very um you know it's very easy to comb through all right because of the gel so i'm just going to twist that up and then go to the next one Aka. so i'm just going to do this um all over the hair and I think also I will be sharing with you the benefits of cactus and aloe vera because you might not know the benefits. So I'll be sharing with you the benefits. You might want to use the ideas. <laughs> so let's talk about this cactus benefits for hair growth. Because child, you need to know this. Now cactus is perhaps one of the best moisturizing agents available. Now moisture replenishment keeps hair thick and shiny. It coats hair follicles with needed layers of protection, adding volume and shielding the hair from any damage. That is why. It's saying it actually keeps your hair thick. Hey, that's why it's thickening my daughter's hair, you guys. And it also volumized the hair. It adds volume to the hair. That's why I can see that my daughter's hair is getting fuller. Hey! This cactus, where did you come from? Ako. <laughs> All right. This is the other thing about cactus. Cactus is high in fatty acids, which are excellent in preventing and reducing hair loss. The added vitamins and minerals in cactus also help it promote healthier shinier hair and protect bones essential vitamins and minerals from cactus help keep individual hair follicles healthy and nutritious wow that is <laughs> that is amazing Yeah, anything that has to do with the hair follicles <laughs> i mean for it 
You understand? <laughs> Other yeah, for goes are very important. Child, if your for goes are at test or they are they are crying out, hey, store your hair is not gonna grow that much. You understand? <laughs> so you need something that is gonna nourish the hair follicle because that's actually where your hair is coming out from, guys. Please. Okay. All right, so the high fatty acids content in cactus may encourage hair growth and maintain healthy hair. Since the cactus extract also includes a number of important vitamin and moisturizing properties, this can further ensure a healthy head of hair. This is so, so true, guys. When you use cactus on a regular basis, you will start seeing healthy hair. You will start seeing that your hair is now hair <laughs> It's not a struggle, Aka. <laughs> the hair is not struggling you understand it's actually hair <laughs> oh all right guys so that is all i can say about cactus um yeah i'm loving it i am really really loving it now if you can ask me so are you going to use cactus on its own or with aloe vera i think i'll just use the two of them but yeah you know i i wouldn't mind to use it on its own because the gel is amazing on its own without adding any aloe vera so i think either way you know it's it's just good either way whether you mix it with aloe vera or whether you just use it on its own but here mixing it there's a lot of vitamins found in the two plants. So that's added vitamins to your hair, guys. So I, I was just speeding up the process, guys. Because, ja, I don't want it to be too boring. Aga. Oh. All right, guys. So if you have watched till this um, time, ja, you're my regular watcher. Aga. Oh. Thank you so much for watching till the end guys i really really appreciate it now i leave this in your hair for about one hour i actually left it for more than an hour guys and i washed it off now guys when i washed it off your hair was so soft like seriously soft Aqua. <laughs> this thing is amazing now i finished applying the cactus on her hair now i'm just going to follow up to apply this on the scalp to finish all the cactus in her hair and just to apply it all over the scalp guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys and i love you so much uh please leave a comment below and like the video because when you do this youtube will actually um you know promote my videos or uh, share the videos to more viewers okay so this will help my channel a lot so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one god willing bye for now In today's video, I'm going to show you a powerful protein treatment for natural hair. This might be for damaged hair, but child, this protein treatment, <laughs> it's literally everything you need. You understand? Welcome back again to my channel, guys. If you are new here, child, click that subscribe button. I click on the notification bell because child, that is important. And also give my video a big thumbs up and comment below because that will help my channel a lot. Ago. now in today's video i will be doing a protein treatment for damaged hair or for natural hair this protein treatment it's 
it's not like other protein treatments in nature you know you know when you use this cacatias <laughs> you know how the sliminess is now it's very moisturizing and it's very applicable to the hair so we are gonna do a cactus and egg treatment for our hair now this treatment guys i actually found out that it strengthens the hair so much and at the same time it's applicable like what i said it's very applicable you can actually use it as a pre poo because it's very very good but cha, if you are using eggs eh? <laughs> be careful you understand eggs really really dry out the hair especially if you're low porosity hair because this egg is very high in protein so you need to go on ahead with the deep conditioner now let me just tell you what you must do when you are doing this protein treatment for natural hair now i did not put any water in there i just put my two eggs and the cactus now you just found out that the cactus i used it was a very small cactus piece i don't need a lot of cactus guys i just used a little bit now i'm just going to strain my mixture because i don't want those hepatic colors that looks like dendrea for aka oh i don't need that in <laughs> in my hair i understand so i'm just going to strain that baby strain it well strain it. all right guys so this is the most powerful protein treatment for natural hair that i've never used ever before I, of course i've used the eggs now but cha, i've never used cactus plus eggs aka oh this will be the first time you understand look at this slime in ears. oh no here i can resist this you understand so i'm going to use castor oil as you know i love my castor oil now it makes the hair thick it makes the hair very very thick like never before okay so i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to edit this cactus in hey did i just say cactus this castor oil in my cactus and egg protein treatment okay and then we are going to put it in this uh, applicator bottle now if you don't want to do this this actually it takes a lot of time okay it actually takes time for me to be applying it in this bottle you can just leave it in the bowel and just apply it from the bowel now i love peppermint now i've heard someone in the comment section say peppermint is not good for kids <laughs> my kids hair is growing like crazy with this pepper i mean there you understand so i just do what it works for for who for me <laughs> but thanks for the heads up though um i love peppermint for my hair and my daughter's hair so i'm gonna use this um cactus and egg protein treatment guys now let me just tell you the benefits of protein treating me and as you can see that is how it's gonna look it's very slimy like slimy nears Aka like a head those slimy jellic uh-huh you understand so <laughs> so be ready for this sliminess because it's going to be very slimy Aka. now if you are applying this mixture make sure that you are really really massaging your scalp because guys it's not gonna work if you just apply it on the hair and just rush and go uh, -uh. you really have to massage it on the scalp and really make sure that it's penetrating the scalp and the hair as well now protein treatments actually strengthens the hair because let me just tell you what happened to me <laughs> are you ready say yes in the comment section Aga. Oh, oh, oh okay guys let's talk about this so i was you know on my channel i do treatments right now these treatments that i do i actually use them on my hair okay now i i was doing a lot of um a lot of uh conditioning with heat with indirect heat like i would do it maybe three times in a week and that actually damaged my hair guys my hair was easy to snap i was suffering from moisture overload now i actually found out that when i was washing my hair i was like what when i touched the ends of my hair it was just snapping off because i was using a lot of heat on my hair now it actually caused uh, moisture overload guys now you don't want to suffer from moisture overload because your hair then will be weak okay and it will be easy to break off so make sure that you don't over moisturize your hair or over deep condition your hair so what i decided to do i decided to do this cactus and egg mixture 
all right uh to just strengthen my hair now after i did this treatment on my daughter's hair her hair was super super strengthened and at the same time it was a, a little bit dry it was very dry guys so i had to go on again with a deep conditioner because <laughs> you can't just leave the protein in the hair and it fell to deep condition again with a very strengthening deep conditioner. So it's very important that after using a protein treatment, you just go ahead and um, use a very, very moisturizing uh, deep conditioner to return back the moisture because, hey, child protein treatment, uh, they really treat the hair like a 30 million do you understand <laughs> so child you really need to go on ahead and add a moisturizing deep conditioner to return back the moisture okay. so this is a very very uh, powerful protein mask or i can say protein treatment for damaged dry brittle hair or damaged hair or child anything you have on your head <laughs> <laughs> you can do this once a month now protein treatment are not to be used on a daily basis you only must use protein treatments once a month <laughs> only once a month you understand cactus and egg a treatment for natural hair all right so let me see great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness toes me your tender mercy i see day after day hey, hey, forever faithful towards me you're always providing for me great is your mercy how towards me day after day hey, for Told me you're always providing for me. my channel if you are new please subscribe and please give my video a big thumbs up because this will help my channel a lot and comment below as well because it will actually push my videos to more viewers okay all right so uh for this recipe guys hi this was challenge yeah okay so you're gonna need a soap base so i'm gonna use this hemp seed uh soap because that's what i use for my hair to wash my hair but guys honestly the reason why i'm saying it was challenging it's because it's a hard soap it's not like those transparent glycerin soaps soap bases that are soft this one eh? hi it was a hard <laughs> like a stone you understand even cutting it it was very hard that's why i made this video because i wanted to see how challenging it was and it was actually my first time of making this soap i really wanted to make my cactus soap because cactus is working for me so well so that's why i really wanted to make my cactus soap guys but yeah the soap that i used the soap base that i used was hard this soap does not melt easily guys i melted it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ciao. <laughs> it was hard. I tried everything. You're going to see now. I'm going to show you everything I did. So it wasn't easy to make this soap. Ciao, but I managed. <laughs> I kind of managed to, to make it. <laughs> Let's see what happened. So the first thing I started doing, I did the double boiler method. Okay. And look at it. It's a solid. Aka. It was not working. And then I <laughs> I switched on to boiling the soap with water on the stove. So that's what I, I did on the second attempt of making this cactus soap, guys. Honestly, <laughs> Child, this was challenging. <laughs> so the double boiler did not work. So don't try that one. I don't think it works because, child, mm -hmm. but uh, trying is not uh, bad. You can try. So I just boiled mine and I left it to sit there. All right. And then this is what I had. Hi, cha. <laughs> All right. Thank me later. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> cha. This is what I'm having right now with this soap. Now I don't even know what to do because this is my first attempt. Now I took this bowel, put all the the soap in there. I put all the soap in the end. What I did, I actually put more water, just a little bit of water in the bowl. And then I put it in the microwave to heat up for about five minutes on high. All right. So right now I'm going to be preparing my cactus gel because this is going to be a cactus soap. Okay. For hair growth. Now I'm going to put my cactus and my water in there. And we're going to make the cactus gel. As you all know, I've made so many videos on cactus, guys. You already know how I make the gel. So I'm going to blend it and I'm going to strain out the gel. Now, I love cactus, guys. If you haven't seen my previous videos, but easy. <laughs> hop, hop into the description box below. Just hop in, into that. You're going to see my videos <laughs> on my cactus gel videos. Ako. Just go and watch that one and you see what I mean. <laughs> it's growing my hair and my daughter's hair, like literally legit. This gel is everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a double boiler method again. Hi, chat. This soap was a hard. It was kind of hard for me, you understand? So I just put my cactus gel in there and I just mix it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, whilst I do the double boiler method with this soap, because I wanted it to melt a little bit. Because if you don't actually do this, it will solidify very quickly. So that's why it's important to do the double boiler method to keep it on the heat so that it won't solidify. So, right now, what I'm doing, I'm putting the soap in that tray. You need a tray exactly like this one because it's going to be easy for you to take out your soaps, okay. Now you can find these trays in a two dollar shops or in your um hi what can I say now? supermarket eh? it's a baking tray but it's a plastic one now you can if you can find this one this is very great so I was just you know trying to uh, get the gel out of the tray ciao this was a hard act but ciao mm -hmm. anything with me is possible okay Let's make our cactus soap. So what I ended up doing, I just put it in two trays, in two compartments. That's what I did because I didn't want them to be everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up doing this. So I left it to sit for about, what can I say, for about 30 minutes. Yeah, you just leave it to sit there. And if you see it solidify, you take it out of the tray. So this was my first attempt, guys. I don't know what you think. Did I do a good job or did I mess up everything? Ciao, comment below because I want to know. And I'm very eager to use this one. Hey, ciao, I can't even wait to use this kakatase. I want to use it to own my scarab. I'm just so eager to use it. Yes. So this is my cactus soap, guys, which I actually made... Uh, first attempt so if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment below and let me know what you think before we get right into the video please give my video a big thumbs up if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click on the bell to all so that you'll be notified hey 
that you'll be notified eh, on all my notifications you understand all right guys so i'm just going through a fast mode of the video i did yesterday so that you understand the recipe of the cactus and the fenugreek oil guys so as you can see this is what i did yesterday so if you just want the oil not the gel you can just follow the steps that i am doing right now and this is going to sleep overnight in hot water you put hot water in there and you leave it to sit overnight all right uh, but if you don't want the gel you can still do the same recipe all right so this is the next day so as you can see the color is actually changed so you can actually take out the gel throw it away if you don't want to use it and then use the chaff that is left to make your fenugreek and cactus oil so i'm just going to show you from yesterday because if i go on ahead and show you how to make the oil without actually explaining how you extract the gel from it it's not going to really make sense all right so that's why i am uh, showing you the video from yesterday so next day aka <laughs> all right guys so next day as you can see it's not jelly like yesterday all right because the gel has actually um went in that bowl that was under the sifter so that's what you need to do you need to put the sifter in and put it on top of a bowl so that the the gel will go in the bowl so i'm going to use coconut oil for this recipe all right i'm going to use coconut oil guys um and i'm also going to use olive oil now i had a little bit of olive oil a little bit of it left all right guys so i'm just going to use that and you remember the oil that i made the onion oil and the apple oil do you still remember that oil that is this oil guys so i'm going to use that because i don't want to keep on using new oils if i have uh, other oils that i have so i'm just going to mix that oil in there but you can just use any oil that you have guys um, but make sure that it's olive oil and coconut oil because those ones even if they fry they don't lose their nutrients fast fast it doesn't lose nutrients you understand oh <laughs> Okay. so we are gonna uh, fry it like what you see maybe fry it for 10 minutes on low heat guys not on high just on low and then i'm just gonna strain it you don't even need to fry it for for a long time just 10 minutes is enough on low all right as you can see the fenugreek seeds have actually roasted very well that's when you can see that it was really really uh, frying very well all right guys so this is my cactus and fenugreek and uh peppermint there all right and green tea tea bag all right so that is my oil cactus and fenugreek oil um i'm really excited to use this on my daughter's hair um and on my hair as well uh but actually me i have my own oil that i use guys uh for massaging my scalp which is the paprika cayenne pepper and um chili oil that i've made in the other video i'll leave the video in the description box below so this is how you make cactus oil and fenugreek oil cactus and fenugreek oil that's how you make it thank you for watching and please give it a thumbs up bye for now bye we get right into it please give this video a big thumbs up and comment below because this will push my video to other viewers as well and youtube will see that you kind of like this content so click on the like button and comment below and share this video now i'm going to be using cactus as you all know i love cactus now <laughs> it's not your first time seeing me using cacatias all right so i'm gonna use cactus and also i'm gonna use onion hey this is a powerful combination the way it made my hair feel hey cha i just said to myself this is the best combination you understand powerful combination okay all right guys so so i've had a comment below uh, someone asking me uh, do i have to take off the peels or from the cactus something like that so for me i take off the peels because that is a personal preference um i don't like doing it with the peels because cha, when straining this baby <laughs> you don't want some patrick or lose but if you want to use the peels 
mixture it's up to you because the pills also they have some nutrients but for me i just like taking them off all right now you know how much i love cacatias chow cactus makes the hair very very thick very healthy hell so i'm just gonna put this cactus eh, in this blender and then take my onion powerful combination Aka. Ha! This onion is powerful if you know what to mix alongside with the onion. If you know how to mix the onion. <laughs> so I'm going to mix this with cactus eh? and just try this combination and see what it does. You understand? So the thing that I'm going to use next is my um, onion and clove mixture that I did in my uh, previous video, my other video that I did this one does not smell it's an onion spray that i did now if you want to see the whole video you can check in the description box below. the reason why i put this mixture is because um it does not smell that it, it actually makes the onion not to smell that bad so i'm going to use uh, more of it now if you don't have this in particular you can use water in your cactus and onion uh, combination okay so i'm just gonna uh, blend it all right now the water that you put doesn't really matter but don't use a lot of water in your cactus because it won't be like jelly jelly don't use too much you understand <laughs> you just need the little beard all right so i'm going to squeeze that gel squeeze it that cactus gel oh cool <laughs> squeeze it jelly. now the squeezing was a bit painful because yeah, the jelly was just he just wanted to be kind of uh kind of stubborn you understand <laughs> so i just squeezing squeezing until my end was painful so I, i'm not going to tell you that squeezing is easy all right so i'm going to use castor oil hey i, I was about to say uh, cactus oil hey ciao polias now i'm going to use one tablespoon of my castor oil castor oil actually you know it thickens the hair um and all those good things and peppermint essential oil because i don't want the onion to be too much you understand hey child please i don't want to smell like soup okay <laughs> all right so this is what the cactus jelly is looking like okay mm -hmm. all right guys. so i'm very happy with the consistency the jelly and i say <laughs> so hi guys welcome back again okay so this is the mixture this is the mickey store okay this is the cactus and the onion eh? mixture you understand uh cactus and the onion for hair growth so i'm gonna use it on my hair now as you can see i have uh some mini braids in um i think they're about one month now i actually want to keep them in for a bit longer because i can see that growth is coming in <laughs> okay. all right guys. so i'm gonna be applying this cactus gel on my mini braids now i've had someone as well comment uh, that can i use cactus on um something like braids or you know if i have plated hair of course you can um that's why i did this video because i don't want you to feel like you only have to use cactus gel on your hair when it's undone okay uh, but you can also use this on your mini braids but if you have like braids 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 you can use the cactus water spray on your scalp and on your braids too but with the with the jelly chow i don't even think so okay. it's up to you whether you want to use it on your braids but yeah um but i think if you are using it on your braids uh with your own hair uh these braids this is my own hair guys i did not apply any extensions so if you have this kind of braids you can use the cactus but if you have like extensions hey I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. You understand? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. So as you can see, the way I'm applying the cactus gel, I really want this gel to coat all my hair and my scalp as well. As you can see, I am also um paying attention to my ends as well because ciao, when I finished doing this cactus, eh? hi child my ends were so moisturized honestly honestly let me just tell you the truth my ends were moisturized <laughs> all right guys so that's why i love cactus so much so pay attention to the um scalp 
and also pay attention to your ends because it's very very important all right now the other thing as well with cactus me when i always use cactus i make sure that i use um indirect heat to actually allow the cactus inside my hair um because i have low porosity hair guys i do not want the cactus to to just sit on top of my hair but if you don't have a deep conditioning cap wear a plastic and then a towel on top of that plastic because you actually want the cactus to penetrate into your hair so that's what i always do i don't just you know you know just apply the cactus and just wear a plastic only i always make sure that i'm using indirect heat to allow anything inside my hair because yeah, low porosity it needs heat you understand <laughs> it needs that heat to penetrate the apple all right so this is how i apply my cactus on my mini braids and guys honestly this cactus has literally changed my hair and my life and my daughter's hair too i really love it now now with this treatment you can do it once a week i've had people ask me uh, how long can i do this treatment like you know when can i do this treatment you can do it once every week all right once every week now you can actually use this treatment as a pre-pull pre-pull your hair with the cactus all right because i'm actually doing a pre-pull right now i'm going to wash my hair afterwards and your hair is going to be so food <laughs> child is going to be so soft like never before you understand so <laughs> so yeah it's um it's important to know that. So I'm just going to massage my scalp. This is very important. And when I was massaging my scalp, I actually felt a tingling sensation on my scalp because I put a lot of peppermint and I also put um, some castor oil. Castor oil is known to stimulate hair growth, especially if you massage the scalp whilst using it. Yeah, if you massage the castor oil in your scalp, it's known to actually stimulate blood flow on the scalp okay and so that's what i did so i'm just going to make sure that all the hair is coated with the cactus and the onion um and also my edges too needs all that good durunias so i'm just gonna add that kakatiase on my edges too just coat all of that and also after i finish this i'm going to be sitting under a um a hooded dryer all right uh, for about 10 minutes guys because i really want to um, allow the so this is all that i have left i'm going to use this on my edges all right and then when i finish i'll put on a plastic and then i'll sit under a, if you don't have a wooded dryer just put on a plastic for about 10 minutes or oh, actually if you don't have the wooded dryer do not sit for 10 minutes only sit maybe for two hours or for an hour because you really want it to penetrate all right because your body generates heat on itself so you can actually um uh sit under a plastic uh plastic bag from the shops you understand <laughs> sit under that eh, for about two hours or one hour if you really want it to penetrate and then you can wash it off and then wash your hair if this is a pre pool if it if it's not a pre pool just um wash it off with water but i don't think with all water only is going to be washed off properly because child the gel is really stubborn to get off your hair you have to use soap to actually take off the gel because it's very gel like you understand so i'm just going to massage my scalp for a bit because this is so important and then wear a plastic like what i said guys so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.
my channel lovelies in today's video i'll be showing you how i mix my peppermint green tea cactus and fenugreek seeds and this is a powerful combination guys because all these things they have their properties and they actually help to regrow the hair regrow bald spots thicken up the hair and all those good things Ako. all right let's get into it Ako. now if you don't know anything about cactus i've made so many videos on cactus guys uh, i would leave all the videos in the description box below now before we get right into the video please like the video because this will help my videos a lot this will actually help okay um that youtube can recognize that you like this kind of content so please click on the like button and also comment below because this will help my channel a lot all right let's get into explaining Ako. all right guys so cactus it's very good now cactus actually thickens up the hair i have been using it guys and i have seen that this is actually true it thickens up the hair um when you use it on a regular basis all right now the reason why i'm doing this recipe is because i actually don't want the gel because actually the gel what it does it leaves those particles in the hair so I actually want to make the water the cactus water if you want to see how i make cactus water on its own without adding anything to it i'll leave also the video in the description box below all right okay so i'm also going to use quarter of a cup of fenugreek seeds now fenugreek are rich in protein um and nisotinic acid now protein and it also rich in iron as well iron actually helps to circulate blood on the scalp which actually helps to grow your hair thicker and stronger as well now also i will be using my aloe vera now aloe vera it has something called potrolytic enzyme which actually helps to regrow the hair if you have any bold spots guys if you have any any part where your hair is not growing properly aloe vera actually helps with that because it also has healing properties as well so if you mix all this together <laughs> you have a powerful and matched combination you understand as you can see it's already jelly look at it it's already jelly guys i'm telling you now what i'm going to do with this mixture i'm going to leave it to sit overnight guys this is the best uh, thing you can do for this to be gooey and really gel like so i'm going to leave this to sleep overnight and i'm going to cover it like this okay next day Aka. all right now this is the next day guys the next day um as you can see it has it has gotten brownish in color it's not really great. look at that gooey consistency ha! this is what i'm talking about Aka. my cactus water or fenugreek water which one <laughs> everything cactus fenugreek water and green tea water everything in there <laughs> all right guys so i really love how gooey it is now i'm gonna um put it in that uh, bowel because i'm gonna use it to actually rinse my hair with it um all right so this is a cactus rinse guys um yeah cactus actually helps guys to grow out the hair thicker and stronger so i really love this cactus for hair growth okay all right guys so um yeah i'm just gonna strain it now green tea actually helps as well to regrow the hair uh, if you have any bold spots green tea is actually known because it has something called egcg but it has something that actually stops hair loss and hair shedding um that's what that's why i love using green tea because it actually helps to stop those things from happening and also peppermint also helps to stimulate blood on your scalp especially if you actually take it as a tea i've done that video as well i'll leave it in the description box below when i was taking my um peppermint tea and my hair was growing so fast guys i'll leave that video in the description box below for you now Mm, it's so gooey as you can see guys i'm really in love with this combination i really really love how it's looking right now so yeah um now this uh water this cactus and fenugreek water you can also use this 
um, to detangle your hair because it is a it, it is in a jelly uh, consistency so you can actually use it to um, detangle your hair or to pre pull your hair as well now it looks like it's like water but it's actually gooey you know, get a hold of the water with your hands you can actually see that it's very very gooey now this chaff that is going to remain you can actually use it to make an oil out of it now if you want me to make an oil out of this um of this chaff left just let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make an oil out of it now it will be a very very good combination um to actually make your oil from it guys all right so let's get to it guys let's get to eat I go now i'm gonna put the water in there the cactus and fenugreek water in there as you can see it's very gooey all right so i'm going to use this as you can see when i hold it like that it has like a jelly like um consistency guys as you can see so you can actually use this as a pre pull or you can just put it on your hair and wear a deep conditioning cap if you don't have a deep conditioning cap you can just wear a plastic uh, over your head now the reason why i am putting hot water in that bowel is because i have low porosity hair guys only something that is warm is going to open up my cuticles to allow whatever i'm going to put on my hair to uh, actually penetrate inside my hair so that's why i'm putting hot water because i want the water to be warm enough in order for my cuticles to open up now i'm going to show you how i actually use this cactus water and uh, fenugreek water to uh, rinse my hair as you can see it's very good i'll see I'll, 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 I'll show you look at this very very gooey guys I really love how it makes my hair feel very soft and jelly. Hi, ciao. How can I even explain this? All right, guys. So if you do this on a consistent basis, let's say you're doing it every once a week, because I normally get questions, people asking that. So how many times am I supposed to do this? Now you can do this two times in a week or once a week, just depending with your with your scheduling, ciao, years depending on how free you are but once a week is fine guys every once a week now with hair you must always be consistent now if you start doing this um once a week every once a week you begin to see difference a difference guys because peppermint tea is so good for stimulating scalp green tea is also good to reduce shedding a lot of shedding if you are shedding a lot that actually helps as well if you're doing green tea rinses uh, that's why i've put in those teas now yeah it's very very important now if you are low porosity here when you've done this you wear a plastic if you have a deep conditioning cap that would be a good way as well to actually wear that deep conditioning cap and allow the cuticles to open up because remember low porosity hair doesn't actually open up the cuticles um so easily you have to open them up by allowing indirect heat on your hair so as you can see i'm just rinsing my hair over and over again because this will help to actually saturate the scalp and the hair because you just don't want to rinse once because maybe um the the cactus water or the cactus gel is not actually coating all the hair so you need to make sure that you are doing it um so many times all right now this is messy because the gel is gonna get everywhere as you can see it's just dripping everywhere so you need to have a towel around your neck um yeah you need to have a towel because it's very messy all right guys but this will give you results because uh fenugreek it's very good for thickening up the hair it's very very good and green tea and peppermint